Yeah, okay, finally, my MPX 2.4 R2 boron kit has turned up, which is great. Um, so this is the Magic Phoenix kit. Uh, basically, it comes with everything except for uh, any plastics. It doesn't come with any, any, any of the um, ABS components that you need to build it. So you either need to print those yourselves with an ABS capable high quality printer that will create high quality parts. Otherwise, do what I did, um, which is I've got a they've got a PIF program which is Print It Forward. So it's basically a, a group of uh, they've been vetted by the Voron um, team team running this whole uh, project. Um, and they're enthusiasts, they've built a couple, or one or two, and they know what they're doing. And I must admit, when I got it, it was absolutely pristine quality. The, the components were just beautifully um, 3D printed. So anyway, so back to the kit. I'm going to do the, box, the unboxing, and uh, this will be added before the unboxing, which I'll do uh, very shortly. So the thing that I liked about this box right from the word go is it's pretty much idiot proof. Um, but I guess you say never say never. So on the very front of the box, it's got open from this side, and it's, it's done so big you can't stuff it up. Um, on the back, it's got do not open from this side, and the reason is is because uh, when you open the box up, just like the other kits like LDO and all those guys. Um, and you take your top flap off, it's got a, all your, everything's layered in the, in the um, sequence of assembly. So you've got all your boxes, bolts and um, brass inserts, etc. It's got a, it's got a, a sheet with the um, instructions with some QR codes for uh, your print guide, assembly tips, discord and tickets, so if you're having trouble. And then you've got your packing slip, um, but everything's in, in sequence. So I'll go into the whole unboxing of this uh, in, in the, just after this intro. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the build. Cheers. So the first layer, let's spin this around. So this is all in the layer of assembly. So, okay, so what have we got in here? I haven't actually opened this, I just opened the box and had a look at the, at the first layer. So, um, so we've got an invoice. Um, there is an instruction sheet here. So this is an MPX CBT kit. Um, and it's got like, actually it's quite cool because it's actually got all the uh, QR codes for print guide, assembly tips, discord and, and setting up a ticket. So, um, and it strongly encourages you to keep the layers intact, don't pull it apart. Um, you can pull them out but don't, don't strip them out otherwise you'll get them all out of sequence. And um, if there's any problems, please feel free to ask or just dis Discord channel, etc., etc. Okay, so that's cool. So we won't mix it up. Right. So the first layer, you've got all your all your uh, frame. And what one cool thing? This is actually cool. It's an insert for doing your brass inserts. You slip it on your soldering iron. Well, I think it is. Uh, I believe that's what it would be, uh, and it would be. It's designed to basically do your uh, brass insert nuts. So that's a really cool freebie. So that's really well thought out. Um, awesome. So we've got those. We've got a box with all the gear, um, all your bolts, nicely laid out. with a sheet with everything in there, everything you need. So that's really cool. All stainless steel bolts, your, your brass inserts, all your shims, all your 5mm shims, all that stuff. And it's got a nice little 
if you keep this piece of paper here intact, uh, which I might put some double sided tape on it to stop it from flopping in there, but it's a really well laid out because it actually shows you exactly where everything is. So that's cool. Um, so, I'll... okay, so that's that layer. So let's see if I can get this layer out without destroying it. Oh no, I can't. I'll take this box out because that's quite heavy. And in the next layer, we'll see what's under there. So I'll carefully remove this layer so we don't lose all of our parts. Hopefully. Move it aside. And the next layer, we've got all of our guide rails, our din rails for the bottom, feet, um, idlers, motors, not sure what brand these are, um, moons, moons motors, um, and then all your little idlers as well. So this is all for your um, Z drives, and that's this. These ones here, I would be guessing, go on the motors themselves. So that's that side. Oh, plus you got all your bearings, your flats, your D flat shafts, your four um, 188 millimeter belts, um, some more drives over here. So it's pretty well laid out. So I'll grab that out. And I'll take this piece here with the motors in it out. That's a that's quite heavy too. Nice. So we've got our P PIE plate here. Oh, which I didn't even oh yeah, no, it's a magnetic one. Sweet, and um, in, in their instructions, the actual, I think they were talking about this here. Oh yeah, now this is set up so that it's actually oversized, so you don't have to be exact on your location of it when you install it. Nice little um, Voron logo there. Great. Um, and then we've got the base. In that layer so that can go all on there okay in here what have we got in here oh, this, is, this will be your ceramic oh this is your build plate and your ceramic so they've actually I was reading through the instructions um, oh it's even got magic phoenix on the um, I can see through it there magic phoenix on the ceramic um, heater plate but they've actually attached it all to the plate so you don't have to worry about um, attaching the silicon it looks like feels like it anyway yeah so that, this is your um, build plate um, and it'll have all of the oh, some more rails there let's oh, can't get it back in here there you go um, some more idlers. Here's a whole heap of your um, 695 TRS bearings, the flanged ones, um, for your idlers belts. Um, you got your your little. Oh, this is the can bus, I think. Cable gland, uh, Y end stop PCB. Uh, build thermistor, build plate thermistor. So that must have a screw hole tapped into it, and you screw this into that. I would guess. I don't know. I haven't actually had too good a look to see what what what's what. There's some more um, uh, slider uh, linear rails, um, some more uh, frame pieces. Very well laid out kit, very well laid, it's beautiful actually. Okay, so in the next layer, we're starting to get to all the electronics. Here's all your um, 
this is all your, your DIN rail assembly for hiding all your cables and cable management systems. Your, um, oh yeah, there's a 3x4, three, three good. 3x4, not a 2x4 um, Bowden tube. Um, you got some of your chains in here. And it all looks like all your electronics. Everything, everything's uh, in this pot in this kit here is um, named. I mean, I haven't had a look in this at all. So um, it's got all your um, fans. It's got the, the fetus, uh, the um, chaotic lab uh, CNC la uh, tap system. Um, fetus, my my um, fetus rapido hotting. I didn't realise it actually came with a hot end. I bought one, <laughs> so I've got a second one. So I didn't, I didn't understand. I thought it was just set up for that. I didn't realise it actually had one, which is cool. So I've got two of them. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the um, oh yeah, Omron SSR. What's in? Yeah, so basically, all your electronic stuffs in here. So this will be your board. This will be. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Uh, Cam uh, Cambridge cable. So this is all your electronics. Here's the piece of stainless um, for supporting your CAN cable. Here's all your um, cable management system for your high voltage, low voltage. Keep it all uh, together. Um, it's a really nice kit. Really nice kit. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's what that's for the tapping, is it? Yeah, I think so. So, so yeah, so it's all looking pretty good. What else have we got in here? So I'll get all this stuff out. Put this PTF tube back where it came from. Okay, I am actually putting it over here so I can just assemble it back in the reverse. Oh, so these, this is all the. Um, all this, all the uh, sides for it, and that's that's it, folks. So that's pretty much the unboxing of the Magic Phoenix um, kit. Really, really um, nice setup here. Like this, this um, foam is really cool. They've done a really nice job of putting this all together. It's beautifully done. Beautifully done. So obviously I'll measure up to make sure all these um, are all the correct length. All the same length anyway. This goes in here. It's like a jigsaw puddle. All the motors have got to go back in here. on the top in the corner and then we've got the top piece goes in here and then our box of bits Instructions and the cover. So that's it. That's um, that's the unboxing. It's pretty pretty cool. It's really really nicely done by the looks of it. Um, so I can't wait to the build. I'm just waiting on a granite top, and then I'll be doing a build set of set of build videos. Oh, oh, the other thing I got. So hang on. Quite heavy. So I actually got all, all my all my uh, ABS components were all done by on the PIF program. So you get on the PIF program, print it forward program through the Discord. Um, I ended up with a guy in Australia 
that did all this for me is really, really good. He waited till I figured out what which kit I was going to buy because I wasn't too sure whether it was going to be the um, MPX Magic Phoenix one or whether it was going to be an LDO or whatever. So he said, I'll wait till you've decided and then you tell me what hot end you want and we'll go from there. But it's really laid out as well, really well laid out as well. So basically, I've had a bit of a look in here. So he's got these all set up in bags. This one here says Stealth Burner. And it's got all your Stealth Burner stuff. And then he's got it laid out pretty good. So in here we've got pages 22 to 47. So all the components that you need for that section of the menu. And then you've got pages 48 to 81. So all the components for that part of the manual. And then you've got pages 82 to 145. And last but not least, all the components for uh, 176 to 200. So I got all mine done in uh, fire engine red and black, uh, matte black. So it actually, yeah, I mean it's pretty much the standard I think. But I like the matte black. It's, uh, yeah. So I'm not too sure whether everything's here. I'm just going to have uh, a bit of faith that it's all done. Um, so once I've just finished optimising the uh, my manual so that it's going to reduce the time to assemble all these components. And... Um, uh, like for things such as doing all of the brass inserts first, each subsection I've done um, on the main part of the manual with the uh, colour photo of what you end up with, I've got a list of all the parts for that those little bits. So you just look at that first page and go, okay, I need 32 of those, 15, 16 washes, uh, 16 of this, 16 of that, 4 of that, 3 of that. And that's all that's to put that whole part together. You've just looked at one page to get all those parts out, and then you're not getting the four pages and go, Oh man, I need to find this one. So, yeah, so it's a, just to try and organize it to be a little bit quicker to assemble it all. So, yeah, so I'm going to do all the brass inserts in one hit. So, all the so I won't separate these bags out, I'll basically go through the manual, oh, which I have. I've actually done a spreadsheet of which pages I've got to go to to do the brass inserts. So I'll basically be keeping these in their bags, pulling out the parts that need to be inserted, do the inserts, and then putting them back in their bags and moving on to the next bag. So, But anyway, that's just me. Um, and everybody can do it their own way, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm, I found the, 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 the Discord forum guys have been really, really good. Because um, it's a pretty pretty big task actually cracking into something like this, like building building these things from scratch. But they're well engineered, impressed me, and I'm like, yep, I'm buying one. So anyway, so that's me uh, done and dusted. So thanks for watching. I know it's probably boring for most of you that have done hundreds of these, but this is a I've 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 not seen a video of the unboxing of the um, Magic Phoenix kit. So hope you've enjoyed it. Leave your comments, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you in the build.